Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about how to relate addition and multiplication and how they're similar and how they are different. Before we begin, stop and make sure you have your materials, guide and notes, a pencil, and a highlighter. If you need to grab something, pause the video now. And remember, while we're working, if you don't understand something, write a question mark next to it in your notes so we can go over it in class tomorrow. Let's start with our vocabulary words. Our first word is equal groups, and this means groups with the same number of objects in each group. Our next word is multiply. Multiply means you are combining equal groups. You're putting them together. Factors are the numbers being multiplied. That would be our number of groups and then the number in each group. And the total is our product. That's the answer to a multiplication problem. Multiplication is like using repeated addition where you add the same number over and over. If we have groups of soccer balls, I could use addition to find the total. I would add the number of soccer balls in each group. I have four groups of five, so I would add five plus five plus five plus five, and I would get a sum of 20. So there are 20 soccer balls. Instead of using repeated addition, you can also use multiplication to solve a problem like this. Let's look at another example. Aaron needs four apples for each pie. How many apples does Aaron need to make three pies? First, I want to look for any important information. I see that there's three pies, and he's going to use four apples for each pie. That word each lets me know that every pie is going to have four apples, not four apples for all of the pies. So I can draw three pies, and then I want to put four apples in each. So I put four apples in my first pie, or my first group, four apples in my second pie, and four apples in my third pie. So now I have three groups of four. And if I'm using repeated addition, I would add four plus four plus four to get a sum of 12. I can also multiply to find this. Three groups of four, so I would say three times four to get that same sum of 12. And if you turn your paper over, we'll write some reminders on how to write a multiplication sentence. When you're multiplying, the first factor is the number of groups. So you count how many groups you drew. Then you multiply, you put the x, by the number in each group. And then you have your product, it equals your product, which is your total, the total number of objects. Sometimes for multiplication, we might arrange things in rows. Then you take your number of rows and you multiply it by the number in each row and that equals your product or your total. So let's practice. Draw a picture to show the groups and then write the repeated addition and multiplication sentences. Three groups of six. So take a minute and draw three groups with six objects inside each group. Your first step is to draw three groups. And since it's three groups of six, we want to put three, three circles with six things inside each. So I put six dots in my first group, six dots in my second group, and six dots in my third group. 
for my repeated addition sentence, I'm going to write the number in each group, 6 plus 6 plus 6, and then I can add it up. And I get a sum of 18. To write it as a multiplication sentence, first I write the number of groups. So I have three groups, then I multiply by the number in each group. So there's six objects in each group, so I do three times six to get my product of 18. So remember, when we're writing our multiplication sentence, our first factor, or the first number we write, is the number of groups, and our second factor is the number in each group. Let's try another example. This time we're going to use the table to answer the question. Morris bought four peaches. How much do the peaches weigh in all? So I see that he bought four peaches, and I want to know about how much the peaches weigh. In all tells me I want the total weight of all four peaches. So I'm going to look at my table and find that the peaches weigh three ounces each. So I'm going to draw equal groups. I have four peaches, so I'm going to draw four groups. And I know that each peach weighs three ounces. So what should go inside each group? Three. I want to put three inside each group. So now I have four groups of three. And if I use repeated addition, I would add three plus three plus three plus three And if I multiply, I would multiply 4 times 3 and get a product of 12. And I multiply 4 times 3 because I have 4 groups of 3. So my 4 comes first, that's my number of groups, and then I multiply by 3 or the number in each group. So I would be able to say that the peaches weigh 12 ounces. Now you try. In your notes, draw a picture to show equal groups, then write the related addition and multiplication sentences. See everyone tomorrow! And remember, the number of groups times the number in each group equals your product when you're writing your multiplication sentence.